Welcome back. Last time I installed a new electrical system. This time I'll be replacing the entire fuel system with a fuel cell. It all started when I was doing the rear subframe. I removed the gas tank to get access to the rear brake lines. When I had the engine out, I also removed the fuel filter and regulator along with the crusty lines. Uh, Spilled a little bit of fuel. Oh, well. Here's most of the fuel system from the car. There's also a bunch of EVAP stuff in the rear right wheel well too, and a charcoal canister not seen here. All in all, it's a lot of stuff that would be a pain to maintain and reinstall. There's lines going everywhere and the system is generally unreliable. The biggest problem is fuel starvation. This tank, being two compartments, needs an expensive fix so the pumps can still pick up fuel in high G corners. I decided a fuel cell would be easier to deal with in the long run, especially if I increase power and need a bigger pump. So here's the cell. It's an SFI certified 10 gallon cell from Jazz. It's a bit pricey, but look how shiny it is. That's a fuel cell. I went with nylon braided hose and laid it out in the car. Then I cut and installed all the ends. I had laid out the whole system on paper so I knew exactly which fittings and sizes I needed. The end installation is tricky. You need to make sure the hose doesn't fall out when compressing the fitting. I got the hang of it and made up all my lines. Then I placed a cell in the spare wheel well and hooked it all up. The cell has a feed and return line along with a vent. The feed goes to the red pre-filter, which goes right to the external pump, which feeds into the silver post-filter, then up to the front of the car. I chose all the fittings I needed to make the filters and pump bolt directly into each other so I didn't have to make extra hoses. The trunk is ultimately the best place for the cell, and it's allowed in my racing class, but it needs some proper mounting. I cut out some metal and tacked together a bracket for the cell. Then I tacked the bracket into the car and test fit the cell. I drilled all the holes for the bolts with the cell in place and bolted it up. I then added a ground wire to the filler neck from the chassis to keep any static electricity from building up. The filler neck has rubber between it and the cell, so it might not be grounded to begin with. I then tightened down the filler neck and reconnected all my lines. Then I moved up to the front of the car and made a bracket for my fuel pressure regulator. I mounted it right beneath the intake boot since this was the best open area I could fit it. The regulator has an inlet from the pump, a regulated output that goes to the fuel rail, and then a return line that goes back to the cell. I filled the tank with some fresh 93 octane because I didn't want to use the old gas that was in it. I had also wired up the fuel pump, which was easy since I kept the stock relay. So now I'm going to purge some of the fuel in the system, just in case there's any debris or burrs or anything that are stuck in the lines. Okay, well I think the quick disconnect is on the fuel rail, but it's hard to be sure because it doesn't really click or anything. Got some towels under it, so I'm just going to prime it to see if it holds. Regulator looks good. Oh, we are leaking. Tighten it up some more, I guess. Thankfully, tightening up the fittings got rid of all the leaks. 
I mounted the lines beneath the car, but I still need to mount the fuel pump and filters. Regardless, it's just about time to see if it'll start. As always, thanks for watching, feel free to like and subscribe, and come back for the next part where we'll see if it runs.